Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix. I wanted to show this really cool little app I've got on my phone. It's called Drive Time. And you know whenever you're driving, you usually have to listen to the radio or you can maybe listen to podcasts or music or whatever. But have you ever wondered, hey, maybe I could play a game while driving? Well, I mean, obviously if you got people with you, you could do some games like that. But if you're by yourself, you might consider this app. Drive Time is essentially kind of a trivia-like app. And I don't know why a bunch of phone numbers came up, but uh, basically it has free trivia games that you can play every day, uh, which uh, also has premium content that you can subscribe to to get access to like Jeopardy and all kinds of other stuff. They got like interactive podcasts and things like that. But I just want to kind of show you guys the uh, free game. So uh, we'll show off a couple of rounds of this. Drive Timers! Hello, Drive Timers. Today is Friday, the 24th of January. Welcome to Drive Time, the best hands-free trivia game for your commute. I'm Liam Vincent. And I'm Melissa Quine. And we've got a question coming up for you in about 20 seconds, so let's get rolling. They really Here like the, the yak. Quizzes we've got for you today. <laughs> in the news, eat this and not that. For each quiz, we're going to pair you with another driver. We're going to ask you both the same set of questions. Whoever has the highest score at the end of the quiz wins. And if you need to, you can always say, repeat the question. Cheerio, governor. Ain't you heard? It's in the news, isn't it? Read all about it. You will be... Basically, this game allows you to play completely with your voice. You don't have to look at it or nothing. It will announce these different things and... You'll get like multiple choice or open-ended questions and you just answer them out, out loud. You will be playing against Garbear. Tomorrow, January 25th, will be the first day of the Lunar New this Year. This is a While the couple of days old now. the holiday best known in America as the Chinese New Year, the first new moon of the lunar calendar is an important holiday in several countries. Question one, the world for Let's 10 points. Let's see if you all get this right at home. Which of these countries officially celebrates the Lunar New Year? Indonesia, Russia, Vietnam. That's a tough one. Let's go with Vietnam. And the answer is Vietnam. The Vietnamese New Year is called Tet. There are a lot of customs practiced during Tet, such as ancestral worship, wishing New Year's greetings, giving lucky money to children and elderly people, and opening a shop. Other countries that observe the Lunar New Year include Japan, Korea, Mongolia, and of course, China. Garber answered incorrectly. The score is 10 to 0. Woo! You're in the lead. I'm in the lead! <laughs> the Lunar New Year corresponds with one of the 12 animals of the Chinese Zodiac. Question 2. History and Society for 10 points. What year in the Chinese Zodiac will begin on January 25th, 2020? Horse. Rat. Pig. Rat. Booyah! The answer is... Rat. It is the year of the rat. According to the Zodiac, the Chinese one, people born in the year of the rat are most compatible with other rats, dragons, or monkeys, but those... I think you guys get the idea. Um, every day, on uh, weekdays at least, they have three different quizzes that you can play. Perfect if you go on long commutes or car trips or various things like that. And unfortunately... The uh, free episode of the day is only free that day, but like I said, if you subscribe to their premium service, you can totally play as much as you want. So, might be something to think about if you're really into it. I'm not sure if I'm quite there yet, but I do have a really good time with the free stuff that they've offered so far. I wish they offered more Jeopardy stuff, though, because they only have the first episode of Jeopardy for free on there. Um, but... Yeah, it's really cool. Um, so if you guys want something a little bit different for your uh, morning and evening commute or whatever the case might be or if you're just bored at home and you just want to play something that you can just shout out and not have to mess with controllers and things like that, give dry time a try. So till then, Down Phoenix out.